No, they're not attacking. Okay, wait. A couple of them are. I think some of them are just playing dead right now. Oh, this is not good. This is not good at all. Are axolotls good or bad? Do they need some improvements? Well, that's exactly what Mojang wants to know right now. Corey tweeted this out. Hi everyone, now that you've had some time to playtest, what do you think of axolotls? So that's exactly what we're going to do in today's video. We're going to take a closer look at the axolotls, determine if they're actually a good mob for the brand new update 1.17 Caves and Cliffs. So share your thoughts down below. What do you think about the axolotl so far? Maybe one good thing, one bad thing, and one thing that could probably use an improvement or a new addition. So hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. As always, I appreciate the support lately. Hashtag that stealth army as well. Leave a like if you do enjoy the video. It just helps out the channel. With that said, let's kick it off and check out the axolotls. So the first thing I want to showcase is the bucket of axolotl is adorable, okay? It's overflowing with cuteness. I love it, and it's probably one of my favorite looking icons in Minecraft so far. And then we got the pink axolotl spawn egg, which I think it's time to actually spawn a couple. Now, these things are cute, but they're also demons, okay? They will kill everything in sight. I've already done this before, and I'm sure you guys have done this before as well. They are vicious. They will attack every single fish in sight, which more than likely means you will probably lose a couple of axolotls in the process. So just keep that in mind. If you are very particular about certain axolotls or you are the type of person that doesn't like to lose your pets, Probably gonna lose a couple of axolotls because they just go and do their thing. Once they see some fish, they are gonna swim around. Moved over here where there's fewer fish so we can take a closer look at the axolotls, the variety of axolotls. I believe there's four or five of them. Um, and I'm gonna put them on land really quick. They probably don't survive that long on land, so I apologize right now. But we got the pink one. We have the yellow one, which is probably my favorite. Another yellow one. Ooh, that's a really beautiful color. That sky blue. <laughs> you see, they're finding the water. They're eventually going there. They're surviving. The sky blue one is absolutely gorgeous, y'all. I love the sky blue axolotl with the pink accent as well. Really gorgeous. And they're already destroying every single fish. So I guess that's a good thing. You don't have to worry about food anymore, right? But, uh, oh, we got a brown one as well. And I think the last one we haven't seen is a green one. I'm pretty sure there's a green one. I'm not making this up. Or at least there was a picture of a green one a long time ago that Mojang shared. I don't think I can spawn any more axolotls, y'all. I've already spawned like four or 500 axolotls. I'm not exaggerating, probably more than that. I'm surprised my game hasn't crashed yet, but you can see we have a pool <laughs> of axolotls swimming around. Now, let's look at, are they practical? Are they helpful? Are they useful in situations where you might need them to help you out? Say, for instance, an ocean monument or elder guardians. Let's take a look. We're going to end up spawning six or seven axolotls, similar to what they demonstrated in the Minecon trailer. There's about six or seven, give or take, and I think that's the perfect amount. I don't want to get too carried away with the axolotls. So we got one, or actually we got two right there already. We got a, a yellow one and a pink one. We have a brown one. Ooh. We have another yellow one. We have a sky blue one, which is my personal favorite. And another sky blue one. So this is the squad. And we're going to be fighting one Elder Guardian. I was thinking about this earlier. About going to an ocean monument. But to be honest, they would probably just all die immediately. Or wander off and then die individually. It's just not good right now. Uh, but I think this will be a good demonstration. One thing I want to point out. And hopefully someone from Mojang is watching this. 
is that I feel like they need to be a little bit stronger considering, oh, that was super cute. <laughs> that was really cute. Considering how rare these mobs are probably going to be, I mean, you can only find an axolotl in a lush cave and more than likely, not every single lush cave is going to have bodies of water. So that's something we got to consider and they need tropical fish, right? So tropical fish are also relatively rare unless you're able to get a wandering trader and i believe you can get that from wandering traders as well as uh the fishermen villagers uh correct me if i'm wrong but i'm pretty sure those are the two options the easiest options to find tropical fish outside of the biome itself so these mobs are gonna be pretty rare and uh, i imagine that everybody's gonna have an axolotl immediately so with that said you know, they're uncommon, and considering how easily they die, I think they gotta consider maybe buffing them a little bit. So, we have one Elder Guardian spawn egg, and uh, I think I'm gonna let them do most of the fighting. I'm gonna help them out if I see them losing, but I have a feeling they should be able to take at least one Elder Guardian down. If they do, we'll try two. So here we are, guys. We just started and the axolotls are not really attacking even though they see they see him. They see the Elder Guardian. Come on, man. Come on, what are you guys doing? Attack, attack. They're not attacking. What is going on here? They're not really fighting back, guys. Like they're not really fighting back and I don't know if I'm doing something wrong or if it's just a bug, but as of right now, we're down to, how many axolotls did we lose? I think we lost all of them. I think we just lost all of our axolotls. That's so weird to me. They're not, are they attacking? They're just swimming around. So maybe they don't fight elder guardians. Do they fight regular guardians? I'm quite curious now, cause I was always under the impression that they do fight elder guardians and pretty much any mob in the ocean but that doesn't seem to be the case but let's go ahead and spawn in the elder guardian just to see if they notice the elder guardian i i have a feeling they don't care though i just i have a strong feeling <laughs> that they don't care there's an elder guardian <laughs> attacking me you know this is really weird because any other tameable mob, which the prime example being a wolf, would simply attack any mob attacking its owner, regardless of if it's going to win or not. And right now, the axolotls are just roaming around like this is an all-you-can-eat buffet. <laughs> they don't really care. Like, my feelings are a little hurt right now. So, let's go over here and see if they will attack... Just a regular guardian. And uh, if they're just going to keep fishing over here, I have no idea. So we got a regular guardian and they still don't care. They don't, they don't care whatsoever. This is really odd to me. Like, yeah, I'm actually dying right now. So <laughs> we're going to chill over here. Get our health back up. Okay, relax, bro. Relax. Yeah, none of the axolotls are paying attention to the guardians, which is really, really odd. It really does showcase the weaknesses of the axolotls, which is, I, I don't know how helpful, that was really cute by the way, I don't know how helpful they're gonna be in a situation where you would need them, you know? I just don't see, oh, don't give me that face. You're super cute though. I don't see how they'd be very helpful in a situation where you need them uh, in order to survive, like for instance, an ocean monument. That's probably not gonna go well. I've tried this before and it didn't go well. Um, so let's demonstrate one last mob. Let's try one last mob. And that's simply gonna be the drowned. Let's see how the axolotls handle the drowned. So this time I'm literally just gonna chill in this little pool right here where there's nothing else that can distract them, right? Nothing else can distract the axolotls, okay? So they're just gonna be in this little tiny pool right here and I might as well get into survival really quick and then we will test this out. So 
yeah all right we got a drowned we have my axolotls are they attacking okay so that's good that's what i want to see right there they're attacking the drowned <laughs> like because they got no fish to distract them they have no fish to distract them so that was actually a really good example let's try yeah let's actually keep going Fingers crossed this actually works, but even if it does work, it's still not really acceptable because more than likely you're not going to be in a body of pool that is just completely barren, like completely empty. It's just not really something that's going to happen. So let's see what happens at least with the guardian in the pool and do they attack the guardian? Okay, so they are attacking or at least a couple of them are attacking the guardian. The other ones are just chilling. No, they're not attacking. Okay, wait. A couple of them are. I think some of them are just playing dead right now. Oh, this is not good. This is not good at all. Wow. A single guardian. A single... Wow. How many did we lose? Three or four of them? So, I think right there... <laughs> explains perfectly how useful an axolotl is in an ocean monument one single guardian destroyed half of my fleet can you imagine going in an ocean monument with three elder guardians and a bunch of other guardians it's not practical it's not useful i really do hope they fix this that they buff the axolotls because I think they're an amazing mob. I think they have the potential to be one of the best mobs, but as of right now, it's just, it's not good enough. Share your thoughts down below. As always, I appreciate you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. So take care. Peace.